Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Greece. In the last episode, we got the new series started, trying to familiarize myself with a lot of the new features and functions of the updated version of the mod and the game. So that's gonna continue to be a bit of a learning curve here. Um, started to do some initial organization of our existing military and uh, trying to work on our economy a little bit um, because we are um, in the red and in debt and we need to try to resolve that situation. We also need to get our industry built up, which will help resolve that situation. And um, yeah, we only have a single civilian factory available to do so. so. That's going to take some work. All right. Now, one thing that I was informed of in the comments is that I did mention that it doesn't look like we can manipulate our tax rate, but in fact, we can. There's that little button right there, which I did not realize was a button. It brings up the economic overview screen, which I actually like this. It gives me a really nice breakdown of where my, you know, where my expenses are. And now we actually have pop population tax, corporate tax. Okay, so this should. And there's our GDP per capita, our total GDP. So. We have our work cut out for us, I think, so. Let's go ahead and get straight back into it. Uh, Costa Simitis. This is kind of decisions about who to attack. Refrain from attacking anyone is our only option. We're missing air superiority fighters, yes, because we do not have air superiority fighters, and I cannot license any air superiority fighters because I don't have enough factories to to uh, to spend to license well anything. So we are stuck. Now we now have some political power. Let me see what, say, increasing. Where's our... I think increasing our corporate tax rate is really... Well, that helped. Panhellenic Socialist Movement re-elected. That gives me a bunch of political power, which is very good. We're already at 30% pop tax. Ouch. Um, and taxing my way out of this hole is not really going to work, is it? Um... We have got to reduce some expenses, I think. Yeah, we're going to have to cut some things. There we go. Drop down to substantial safety nets. That's helped. Where else are we? Well, we're paying a ton on interest on the current debt, which is the 300 billion. Um, we have more debt than we have GDP, which is not good. Defense. The Navy is costing me a lot. What if I were to reserve all my ships? Actually, I don't know. Um, I 
Let's see, if we were to reduce military spending, that would barely do anything. Okay, that won't really help. Yeah, let me just check. If I mothball some ships. Right, if I send those uh, submarines to reserve, does that affect the spending? Not really. Just the existence of the ships. Problem is, is that uh, further we go into debt. The bigger this number gets and the worse the problem becomes. Uh, France is proposing to construct a civilian industry in southern Macedonia. France is offering us a deal where we contribute 10% of the construction sum. You know, I can't really turn my nose up at this right now. 10%, that's 1.3. Yeah, go ahead and, and do it. Or 1 billion. Yeah. We need the civilian industry. We are kind of being heavily influenced. All this European Union stuff is... Budget... European campaign. Sweden is doing pro-European campaigns. All right, there's foreign relations. There's a whole bunch more political power. Um, let's grab this one for the additional political power. Still a half a billion. We've got like, what? No resource exports. Nothing. Um, can't create an agency because I don't have enough civilian factories. Um, so we can't do anything with like trying to manipulate trade influence or anything like that. I mean, we we have some steel.
Let's see, this is supposedly the economic tree, I think. What are my options in here? Uh, construction speed up, military industry output up, cost to in change economic cycles up, but you know, we're not probably not gonna be doing too much more of that. Uh, base stability up, worsens a debt crisis. Construction speed. The building industry spends seven and a half billion. Increases Chinese influence and adds the civilian industry. Okay. Germany's revoking access to the military commsats. Okay. Hopefully at some point we'll have our own. We can modify the officer corps. I have lots of political power. I really don't necessarily want to spend that right now. What I might try to do is open up my economy a little bit. Reducing my tax cost. Resources to market up. Yeah, let's try that. Let's see if we can get any kind of exports going. Current exports, nothing. All right. Let's start working on the economics. 35 days, all right. Uh, where's our research going? Oh, it's not research. Let's see. Recent conditions in the Greek economy have shown the consumer that now is the perfect time to spend money and make investments. We replace stable growth with fast growth. That is good news. It means we're not as far in the hole as we used to be. Just continue to push. All right. At least it's slowing the bleed. Right? It's slowing the bleed. Might it be enough to where... Yeah, we're gonna lose some stability, but that's it's all right. We're gonna, we're gonna drop off of this. Now at negative 1.91. Guns. Rift defense. Yeah. Also, if we start reducing our corruption, that will also help. Okay. 
So, let's do that. Let's continue improving our infantry equipment. So it's going to be 300 political power. All right. There we go. That gets me... Chinese investments. It's going to increase China's influence, but I can't really turn my nose up at it. We need that civilian industry. Go. Uh, where was my influence list? There we are. China's at 15.64%. Unfortunately, don't have the luxury of burning political power on reducing that just yet. Oh, I should probably do. Just go ahead and uh, reform that fleet. Because there's really no reason not to. Some experience. Like, I can't even begin to afford to actually train any new troops. But I probably want to start working on editing. Existing. Templates. Like, for example, if we add some engineers, okay, and we add some more mechanized infantry, we can bring the combat with them. We're making some slight improvements. As the price of housing and apartments have went through the roof, especially in the last year, people have taken out larger and larger loans to afford housing while speculators have invested heavily in property, also using loan money. Right now, this is coming to an end fast. The prices are dropping and people are trying to sell like there's no tomorrow. Many less fortunates who stuck with huge loans they can't repay as people are cursing both uh, Simitis and the Greek Central Bank. For causing this, we must make a public statement about how we're to handle this crisis fast. Blood the system with cheap money to make the market bounce back. Lower our economic growth from booming. Higher percent chance it will stay on stable. Well, yeah, we're on stable, so we got it. We fell off a of fast. It's all right. Well, it's not all right, but. I have nothing I can do about it. 
We're kind of in that slow starting area where there's really not a ton to do. We have no civilian factories because I've increased my taxes too much. But I kind of had to. Keep working on computing. About to finish our early fighter design. I'm thinking we're probably going to want to go light jets. For the time being. Yeah, let's go with the uh, light jets. Sudan took six states, so Sudan was annexed. All right. Probably get myself a commander here. Let's see. Organization first is what we'll go with. And offensive doctrine. Hopefully, this will get us a civilian industry back. Alright, 3G. And then we'll go for... Research speed, production efficiency growth. Research speed. Yeah, keep boosting up the research speed. And joins the World Trade Organization. After a long negotiating process with the existing members of the World Trade Organization, and has finally achieved the ramp ratification of its application to join the WTO. And it's to demonstrate to the members of WTO, especially the United States and European Union, that it is making notable steps towards opening up its economy to competition. The Chinese state media hailed this event as a historic moment in China's reform and opening up the process of modernization. All right. We're back to our one civilian factory. 
Okay. Borrow from the ICBC. Leave each debt crisis and it gives us 10 billion in treasury. Adds building slots, but doesn't actually give me any civilian factories. George W. Bush of the Republican Party emerged victorious in elections. All right. That gives me civilian industry and office sectors. Um, let's borrow from the ICBC. Let's let's do that. We're almost at 300 political power. Start to reduce the uh, corruption. Still no resource exports. Pause there for a second. All right, still trying to get that Political power, change corruption, but what was that going to affect? 5% more tax revenue. Yeah, I think that's going to have to be our plan here. Yep, there we go. Yeah, it dropped down to 240. I'll take it. Still not in the black, but it's significantly better. The United States vote on the Charter of Fundamental Rights of the European Union. What is your country's vote? Uh, yes. A total of 15 member states with yes voted 15 member states. Well, it would have passed anyway, so it doesn't matter. The industry in southern Macedonia, got 180 days. That will help. All right, there's our borrowed money, 10 billion in the bank. Uh, sort of. Mean base stability, the unemployed. 
That's probably a good idea. Let's grab it. 35 days. This should be a quick one. So now if we can reduce our corruption even further, we should start being able to pull out of this. As long as, you know... Yeah, it's going to be more effective than going to fast growth. Uh, we're still constructing, and it says November 2006, and now we have Construction 1 finally complete. Now September 2006, okay. Uh, excavation 1... Resource gain efficiency. Yes. Because if we can get some more resources, then maybe we can start looking like uh, we're going to export something. Well, maybe once some wars break out and people need steel, if we're sitting there providing steel, we might get something out of that. Because, as you know, war is good for business. All right. That's done. I'm not even really sure what that actually does. It didn't really affect the budget. It says it worsens the debt crisis, but uh, otherwise it it's just a stability increase. Weak economic strength. Monthly. Oh, uh, our construction speed plus 5%. Central Greece. Civilian industry. Yes, please. guns here in about a month. Alright, and if we can start getting in the positive, we can start using our political power to actually reduce our taxes. It'd be good. So we can get that other civilian factory back in action. Ninth of October, two thousand six. Few months, we're gonna have a big event coming. That we'll see what happens. Oh, actually, one other thing I want to look at, which I've been forgetting, is. This. What are we actually short on? We're actually short on armor personnel carriers. So, what I should probably do is instead of making man pads, and artillery pieces, Let's make some APCs and let's also make some transport helicopters.
European Defense Agency. Relief tax are dependent from foreign influence. I guess we'll say yes. We said yes, right? Uh, all member states voted yes. Okay. All right, G3A5. So we're good as far as infantry equipment goes. Let's get construction too. Swap that up. Now, do we actually need the trains? No, we we built the train. So. I guess we can just keep building it. Sure. 3.7 per year <laughs> on trains. Pharmaceutical exports as a civilian industry costs us 7.5 billion. That's a military industry. We really don't need the military industry right now. Construction speed, air base, naval yard. Pharmaceutical exports. Warners killed by jihadists in Iraq. Fez Al Assad dies. Okay. Why is my political power so far down? Probably because I reduced like the welfare state. And things like that.
Let's see. Directive on copyright in the digital single market. All right. Okay, I guess if it isn't unanimous and it actually doesn't pass. France is proposing to construct another civilian industry. You know what? Yes. France's influence is fairly low, so if they want to keep building civilian industry for me, so be it. And we are kind of long on this episode, so we'll probably stop here. Let's grab improved computing. And we should actually have two civilian industries now. January of 2004. Going to be done. All right. Well... We'll go ahead and stop here. Slow start as usual, but you know that's that's kind of the way of things, especially if when you're a smaller nation that kind of has a lot of work to do to just get rolling. I think we're starting to roll. Um, we're actually in the positive on our budget, so that's good. If we can start cutting down our corruption, that'll be better. And, uh, yeah, so we have successfully climbed out of the hole, at least for now. So, we'll keep on working on it. But for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.